It is a great honor to be here at Francisco Marroquin University. Uh, I can happily say that it is not my first time here. I have visited with my wife here several times in the past. Both of us have had the privilege of being able to lecture uh, to the students here in previous classes. And uh, we have enjoyed this more than practically any other place that we have been. I'm also very pleased to be able to be here with you this evening for a number of reasons. First of all, to congratulate those graduating seniors who are part of the class of 2022. Congratulations on your achievement in acquiring your degrees. But even more important, the fact that besides your acquiring your degrees, the distinction with which you have done so as represented by the ceremony this evening. You exemplify the best of what the university is attempting to educate and foster and cultivate in the next generation of people who will go out and continue the work that they represent in the society and the tradition of the institution. Now, all of you will be leaving here with, from everything I understand, an international quality education in whatever your major, your field, your specialization has been. But more than that, you have earned those degrees and acquired the knowledge in your area of major and specialization in the wider context of what this institution stands for. And you leave with that as well. There are many forces and, and movements in the world that do not fully appreciate the values and the institutions and the ideas upon which Francisco Marroquin was founded nearly now over 50 years ago. What has enabled you to have the kind of education that you have? It requires an environment in which the individual is treated with dignity and respect and is understood to have a mind that has the ability to reason, reflect, think, argue, and debate, and come to an understanding and an appreciation of what reality is and what the world offers, and to be able to go forth reasoned and educated for a life and a career. What are those ideas? Liberty and freedom are the most fundamental ones. What is a good society if each and every one of you are not to be free to find your own purposes, your own values, your own meanings, your own destinies that will make your life have a purpose in your own eyes? How can you do that if the society is not free? Free that respects you to choose your occupation, decide where to live and how to work, with whom to associate, and on what agreeable terms, both in the marketplace and outside of the marketplace, the wider society. These are under attack. People do not value freedom. People sometimes look down upon the choices others make. There are forces that would attempt to narrow and confine your opportunities in life. Francisco Marroquin attempts to be a voice and an idea standing against that. To stand against this tide so ideas can prevail for the free and the good society. The principles are human freedom, the institution of private property, the right of voluntary association and mutual agreement, as I said, both inside the marketplace and in the wider arena, arena of general human interaction an impartial rule of law in which, each, in which each person can receive fair and equal justice in a government that is not corrupt, that recognizes it, that its duty is to protect the rights of the citizens and not to undertake policies that would undermine, threaten, or violate those rights. When you go forth here, you go with the knowledge with which you will pursue your career, your life, but don't forget the importance of the underlying ideas of the philosophy of the institution that has been the grounding and the basis of that education. Because the future is in your hands. The future of your own life, 
the future of your own country. And as a member of the greater society of the world, influencing and helping to make a better global community of free people who together in their voluntary market associations can generate prosperity, betterment, advancement of civilization and society. Each one of you has a little bit of that responsibility on your shoulders so that your children and your children's children can have the same opportunities of freedom in education and in society and opportunity that you are able to have. Let me again congratulate you on the achievement of your graduating from this institution and with such distinction and honor. I wish you the best. Thank you very much.